Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Margie's here. And your fellow neighborhood black person llama. And today, bro, we are going to react to the ZZZ 1.3 live stream. I'm Virtual curious, K Ron. What are you looking forward to today, man? In that live stream. To be honest with you, Margie. You don't know? Uh nah, I really don't. Okay, because man. we already know the characters. We already know the characters, but we don't fucking know what the fuck they gonna do in the live stream. I'm gonna be real. I don't even know why the fuck I even ask. So, hey, listen, you already know, bro. We do a lot of different types of content, bro. We like to play other games, bro. We got Mario Party coming up. Come on, feel free to join us for the variety. And yeah, Indeed. we play Woo is easy, bro. It, and some Nintendo games, bro. Hit us up, bro. Hit us up. And we about to get started on this bitch. Let's get it, bro. Let's go. That's enough fucking yapping. Let's go. We finally, we finally gonna there, find out what Welcome happens with Section Six Two. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, we got a new type of gang to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest oh, it looks like on a, the scene. It's a cat. It, it, and next to me is they go Mr. Z. Yeah. Hello, Lady Meow. We're live now. Yes, yeah, a cat. Oh, Lady hey, Meow. everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream, She's I'll British. be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the... Who is it, bro, in these anime games? We truly appreciate your support. Let's Why turn this so bitch, serious, let's turn this bitch down a little bit. You're not nervous yeah, there we go. That's good. Section six this time, are you? Not at all. Okay. Gotta love the art style. Oh yeah, ZZ has amazing art style, bro. They do a good job with their design. Watching over us. And art, bro. Shoot, bro. Especially with the improvement of character designs, as a, like the characters that has been coming out. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. It's been awesome. Yeah. The best Intel broker in New Eridu. I've infiltrated yeah, the section this man. fan club and got an inside <laughs> scoop about the team. Next, talking about it, yeah. it really does remind me of um before we get to section the uh, panty and stocking art style. We'll you see, we we'll see what happens with this department. shit. It, it does. They're one it of does. the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the All right, let's go. They go but they get into the point. I like this. Let's not put it that way. Ooh, with that big ass statue that looks like fucking Mr. Fist or something. Yeah, bro. Bro, this look, this is looking like some. I don't know how to describe it, bro. High tech. Yeah, it's like some. Is the sixth unit of HSL. It looks like some side order type shit from Splatoon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. They go Sukaku, who you already know about. That nigga that I don't remember. Yeah, everybody, this guy is so forgettable. I think it's. I think I'll have to find him, bro. I don't even know his name, bro. I don't. Uh, I would say I don't think majority of the people do, but maybe some do. I bet people don't even care about him. Oh, what do you mean? Majority probably don't care about that nigga. That's a good art yeah. right there. God damn, Yanagi. Bruh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, well, some people are fans. Hey, they are big fans. Oh, someone cares about the dude. That's crazy. Don't worry, I mean, he seems like a comic relief type character. Yeah, he, yeah, that's what he seemed like. He seemed like, he just looks so generic. That's right. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around God damn. Everyone knows now that HSO Section 6 thick is fuck, right? armed forces. Indeed. And that the team I like her character. I mean, from that little bit that she gets to talk to her. Yeah, I actually she, do she like Yanagi's character. How I, she was. She, I like Yanagi's character. But is Miyabi is... Oh my god, that position. That was the that stance. Holy shit. Okay. Enough gooning. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. She the brains. Of course she's the brains. She wears glasses, right? Any character that wears glasses usually is the brains, bro. They... They never the stupid one, right, K Run? They always the smart mm. ass. What's wrong to I don't know, because I felt like I've seen at least. Not a lot, but I've definitely <laughs> seen a few idiotic classic players. 
I know, I'm just fucking around, bro. I'm just messing around. But everybody's gonna be looking forward to Miyabi, though. She might be crazy. They probably made, right. might have made a lot of changes for her, to her from the closed beta. Oh, this trailer. Look at this shit. Got these niggas with the fucking persona colors. Yeah, bruh. Uh oh, they showcasing Yanagi. Hey. They know what they're doing with that ass shot right there. I saw that. Indeed, they do. You think I wasn't gonna peep that? <laughs> okay, we got a new enemy. Oh, yeah, that's a new enemy right there. Yeah, that's. This looks good. This is definitely like a uh, futuristic. Like oh, my nigga! My nigga! Lighter is my nigga, bro. I like how this dude is just so fucking cool for no reason. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty chill. To deal with you, fists. Hell yeah. Hey. Yep. Miyabi's definitely coming up in 1.4, right? Oh, 1 billion percent, right? Yeah, I mean, like, she's like the poster Yagi girl for it. Fighting? I wonder what happened. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Nail, why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? But I bet people aren't gonna skip these two for Miyabi, yo. Yeah, I know, I most likely am. I, I, I know that these two probably are not gonna be as popular as Miyabi. Yanagi and Lighter, I, they they good characters, but I think people are going to just skip these two for Miyabi. And it probably depends on who's the second 1.4 character, because I have a feeling that Miyabi is the most likely one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what the hell just happened to her eyes? Okay, I don't know. Mind. It's like that. But I can tell this family would her eyes turned black when she was like, I'm going I'm going to have to discipline him. <laughs> you know what that means? Can you tell yeah. She beat their ass. <laughs> right? Indeed she does. Although she seems more like a passive character, but I guess you can't based off looks. Remember, she's a, she's a character with glasses. She's probably one of those crazy ass teachers, you know what I'm saying? You like yeah, those crazy enough. ass teachers in anime that where you're wearing glasses? Oh, that's a nice part of her. Holy shit. That's Yanagi? Oh my god. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't know about this intel. I have failed as an intel broker. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Hey. Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. You know, see those TVs glitching. We getting a Persona 5 crossover or something? Although the Torrey Inferno has but lighter, bro. Hey, Persona 4. Of a certain champion remains on I hope we get a Persona After 5 crossover. I'm sure all you proxies are in this fucking game or even Persona 3 reload crossover. Of of Yo, bro. I, I can only say I don't give a shit who they put in the game, but I know I would save up enough to splurge for every character. I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. He is the coolest guy. Lighter's lit. Ben, these niggas yapping. Yeah. I know, because I definitely feel like Persona 5 would definitely fit in this game. Uh, I think both of them would fit. That's why I recommend it. That's why I said both. So, uh, I don't think one or the other would fit even more than the other. But I think they both would equally fit. Lighter! My nigga. This nigga, Lighter, is cool for no reason, bro. Like, this nigga, this nigga is also, he also got a goofy-ass side to his character. <laughs> He need, yeah. I, I, story. Right, yeah. 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 Holy shit, that art. That remind me of some so some right. Baki type shit, As some Kengen Ashura type shit, you, right? Is Holy uh, shit. I'm gonna say yeah, but I'm not sure because I don't watch Baki. I watched Baki. As he it was. To win battle after battle. I watched that shit the whole entire series. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, 
If we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. Speaking of the outer ring, isn't Pearlman? Who's that in the background? Oh, oh, that's the dude. He still has yeah. <laughs> that's the dude for seconds. He looked like someone else for a second because his his hair was like Pearlman. it looked a bit and different. I, I didn't notice. Will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the vision case. This the is vision. just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section Six. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. So let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Huh? Hell yeah. On already. All right, let's start God damn. The intel on Miss Sukishiro Yanagi. She's another and anomaly. A third I anomaly character in a row. In, in, in another patch in a row, right? And an S -rank yeah. Anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. Seriously, doesn't anyone? I love the ZZZ models, man. Yeah, has some of the best models, bro. They gonna show the animations. She wields a naginata that matches her slender. Oh, what you look at that? She wields a naginata, Kiran. Mm. I don't give no shit. Mm. Uh, I know. Mm. That's a specific type. That's all I know. Damn, Kiran. So. That's crazy, man. They said it themselves, my nigga. Come on. Say it with me, Kiran. I'm saying shit. Told you so. Come on. And we already been over that. It was a specific type. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Mm. All right, let's go. Because Lama, Lama, and I, we were, we were tripping another video about that shit about if this is Naganata or not. To take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing. Her enemies just look fire, bro. Yanagi's available yep. moves will change depending on her stance. Hey. Her weapon is so small compared to her. Simply put, like in like legit just looking at it in combat, you know? Yanagi can continuously receive. Yeah. Think Yanagi is supposed to look bigger than that? Also, after Yanagi switches, I mean, every time she yeah, I usually it can be bigger. Attack, her anomaly build up increases. When she unleashes oh, I'm just saying. Attack, I'm just Yanagi saying. It's fine. But I'm just... Stance. It's just hard to not notice that how small it looks compared to her. Step, by a like, I feel like even if she put it down, damage. like, like standing up, I don't think it would be taller than her. Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without At least that's why I would listen to that. While giving herself a buff. Mm. Really? So she's like an on-field anomaly DPS. Interesting. She's like on Phil. Yeah. I mean, to be yeah. fair, doesn't the Naginata or whatever the fuck you want to call that turn into a sword as well? So maybe that's also why it's like that. Yeah. Her Naginata does kind of change shape a little, I, I think. It looks like we assume that we don't get to see it here. There is usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate only intense focus as she lets me oh yeah her ultimate is pretty slashes. looking fire right, right that angle they did not show it that well in that angle right there but in her day to day life but it looks yeah. really good still a gentle person that that she shit looks really good bro when things get real oh got more details to share mm -hmm. i can't give away everything just yet now let's my nail we, Here comes both these characters are fire. Rank fire and stun agent. It's stun. Our last special program, you probably yeah, we knew that, though. This cool bro, I like the black and gold, bro. Uh -huh. Looking Indeed, good. We knew he was a stun. Of Caledon, no doubt. He's already, that being said, he's a fire stun character and it's a limited character. So he's already now. probably power creeping the fuck told, out of Coletta. Not one to hawk the spotlight. And of course, he uses mm, his spirit in combat. Like, she, Colette is the most comparable character to this nigga. Because she's also a fire stun. She's standard character. The fifth hit of his basic attack. So 
turns him into an enhanced God damn, bro. Look at him. He consumes my going. This nigga is an Oonga Boonga type character, bro. He's like, with the rapid punches. That shit's fire. I know people like that shit. The dopamine from this nigga. He's gonna have some good dopamine. Yeah. What he said. Da 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 da. Right? He allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. Fire and ice damage. So he's gonna be good at, with an ice DPS. He's gonna be good with Yanagi. Okay. Yanagi is Yanagi... white. Yo, I think we all. I thought we know that Yanagi is like ice from the from the closed beta. Not not Yanagi. Fucking uh Miyabi. Oh okay. Dodging yeah, they both assessors. I got confused. Miyabi. Miyabi from close in the close meter test is like she's a uh, ice character. That, that's that's why this is the sign that she's coming next 100 percent in 1.4. With his fiery fist and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. Uh right. Got it. Yeah. That's right. All for our new agents, but let's not People are gonna, we gonna, we have female goons in this bitch, bro. They're gonna, they're gonna say that he's hot. Am I right, bro? No, oh, you have no idea. Yeah, bro. People are going. The the ladies is gonna goon over that nigga. Let's stay on track. After the 1.3 update. Oh. Oh shit. Batty boot. Yeah. We got a night. We got a night one too. Yep. Night boot. Those are new. Those two new. Okay. No, 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 no. We got. We, they are already in the game. I think I seen Batty boot before. I didn't see night boot before. Night boot, not night boot. Batty boot. Who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage with his. He's basically like the A rank version of the the other one. That little fly. One. The one that be on the airplane. The yeah, the yellow one. In a large area the, the yellow one, yeah. Take them all out with one big blast. Very nice. Now our other A rank bang boot, Nightbull, can summon stars onto the so we... battlefield. Oh, that's me. Hey. Energy for agents. When activating a chain attack, look at that nigga running. <laughs> that guy he fucking points. attacks. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether. Look at him. Look at look at the With guy. Oh, uh, so another ether bill. Signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, I want her to say that again. To the exclusive channel, Moonlit All right, nigga. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just walking around. Where you can obtain the exclusive her W engine. Sukishiro Yanagi and S rank W engine, Time Weaver. Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel, Champion of Embers, and the W engine channel. Eh, the engine looks I. Both we'll their engines don't look as good compared to Bernice and Caesar's. And the S -rank w yeah. The e -gen des I'm engine design. I mean, it could be a transformation one, though, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to open up. Most of the engines does that. They do, like, do this transformation animation when you have them equipped and shit like that. They do, like, these animations. Nice. Yeah, they better start going back to that. <laughs> What's her background? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. Looks and good though. She looks real good in that actually. These new that's what kind of clean. My nigga, my nigga with his glasses off, bro. The lady's gonna gonna love that shit, bro. Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. You know what I'm saying? Then what topic should we talk about instead? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code go. Here we go. Hey, there it goes. There it goes. Let's screenshot this bitch. Y'all gonna see it like a little flash. We gonna, we gonna screenshot that bitch real quick. And we're gonna we and we gonna skip this. Alright, let's go. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing That's the some new events call, homies. And game modes too. Hey. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter's stories are coming. Right. Oh, they got stories. They both got stories. Bro, that art. That is insanely good art. Wait, what is this show? Yo, she's wearing like a jacket coat like behind her, but she look she looking like a she looking like a 
<laughs> like a fucking leader of a fucking rewards. empire, bro. In Sugishiro Yanagi's program yeah. in the TV okay, so this is some of them. Traces, like a leader of a gang. That's the best to put it. And themed stages. But a fucking fly. TV schedule program, the champion. Light is shit low fire too. That R is in there. He can also check out the special play in hey. the can use lighter Yo. across a series of horizontal battle stages. Oh, oh he has a side beat em up fighter. Yeah, That's bro. funny. I know what they did with this. They wanted the, the Street Fighter reference. Street Fighter reference one billion percent. Designate an agent as a support or Tekken. Whatever one you want to reference. And have them unleash their skills. That's fire. That's fire. I like how they did that with lighter. Because what that reminds you of, what what game does that actually remind you of a little bit? Uh, I don't like, remember specifically, but it's a very old game. Yeah, it's like, it's a, like on the original uh, Xbox for the uh, like the beat em ups where you can go down the street, pick up items, and fight. Yeah, that's what I'm random thinking shit of. that appears. I don't know the name of the game, but it reminds you of a very old game. They definitely referencing something right there with that event. It. They could also be referencing like old school GTA when it back when it was 2D. Oh yeah, that could be that too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I it, it's most likely Street Fighter considering that he's a puncher. So or it could be like Punch Out. Actually, nah, nah, I don't know. Yeah, Punch I don't know Out about that is one. like Punch Out, you it's not it's not really like you can't really walk around. It's more like you just kind of stuck in the ring. Added a new permanent gameplay mode. The new permanent mode? Bro, they cooking. By fighting battle after I don't know battle, battle. Bro. bro, that NPC, goddamn. Yeah, we know. All the NPCs. Players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. That's fire. This is going to be a fire event. Game mode. New permanent game mode, they say, too. The higher you climb... The tougher your opponent. So is this like a roll light? Uh just about you complete the entire like, phase. Like your HP, for example. If this is a roll light, is this is like a true roll light where you defeat enemies and then climb like if this is like a true roll light and you defeat enemies and then you climb like a tower? Like this constantly. Like spiral, but... And it's if it's like infinite, but if it's like a whole bunch of floors though, that would be insane. In battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. But the but shoe you defense is more like spiral bitch. This is a bit different, I think. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, uh, the ones I dislike the most. You gotta stay fighting the ballerinas. Uh oh yeah, the ballerinas are fucking annoying. But they at least, because <laughs> they keep reviving each other. Yeah, that shit is so weak. <laughs> Skill issue. My ass, nigga. Uh, I literally wait and try to dwindle them both down to the same house so I could freaking kill them both at the same time. Then you accidentally kill one and then the other one starts dancing to bring them back. Hey, get good, bro. Just get good. You just got to stun them before it brings it back. Anyways, let's go back for 10 seconds because we kind of missed what they were saying here. Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Interesting. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated... Bro, the event's looking fire so far. What as the you fuck? Can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles. Hell yeah. TV. A TV, a TV event. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Because I think the TVs is fine if they just stay an event. You know what I'm saying? They they just shouldn't be part of the main game. Like, the t t I think the TV system is actually good as a, if they just stuck with event styles it just shouldn't come back to being like the main story type shit that's just my opinion on that shit you know what i'm saying because I, I i don't like the tvs personally they disrupt the 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 regular flow of gameplay but when they just a event that's fine Did my opinion can even loot some NPCs what you think you already know what i think i don't give a shit <laughs> this nigga Looks like even the store. But this is a TV event. The okay. This sheer power. I mean, they're sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. 
the big okay. clue you get in game will show up. This actually looks very interesting. Arizona, following proxies nope. and providing very in depth. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP. I wonder why Yanagi is following you. The blessing group. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, our, your teammate. And, then, and plus, you, it shows right there like you have a Yanagi badge. You can move on to the next one yeah. for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And that's a lot of rewards, man. You get that's from the skill tree that, are that's an egregious amount of rewards. So Whoa. Proxies can that's gonna be... To I think that's gonna be worth doing. Maybe not everybody gonna like it. No, 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 they better learn to like it. Unlimited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new thing. I think the rewards are worth it though for it. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. This music though. Oh, and I heard Let me sit my ass up a bit. A event if it yeah, battlefield I'm mayhem. Proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Sukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try hey. to the stages with a single agent. Hey, they know about Solar. Hey, nice nice stance right there. That ending. Oh, another cooking. Another cooking event. Open a pop up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, it's just another short event. It, this is another one of those get to the point events, which is fine. Because as long as these types of events not taking over the past, we're fine. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm all about the combat events, bro. Me personally. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out. I wait in. I wait in for the day that they put like that. That they add a co-op mode to this game, a mode where you can play co-op with your friends and you can play the combat and shit and fight bosses and shit. Like, they, they should do that with the roll-like mode, in my opinion. They should do that shit. I think the, that roll-like, that new mode that they show has a lot of potential. It has lots of potential going on with it. One billion percent. I hope that they don't make uh, co-op an oversight, because what's funny is that co-op was actually in the closed beta, but they took it out in the, in the final game. There's also a Bang Boo with a little cart handing you know? out tasks, too. Yeah. Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. Yeah, they show in case there's some events that get straight to the point. Hey, look at oh, that. Oh, you finally can interact with that. Yeah, it's those dudes. Hey, look at him. He vibing. Uh, decorate the office and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, you can decorate your office. That's fire. You can do a bit more now. So these are statues, yo. Okay. In addition, we will be getting oh. We get this every patch. We get this every patch, so it's not surprising. Not surprising. In version 1.3, we optimize. God damn that Yanagi art. That in the name card. Expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles. Look more than a hamburger. We'll be able to get various Bruh. titles from events and from agent trust. So we're getting titles and all. Nice. That's that's fire. That's cool. That's fire. Earn them from various games. It's a nice little extra detail to showcase your friends. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Ah. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. Yeah, okay. All those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more. There's more nice. Uh oh, quality of life. Q T of course. L. In version 1.3, with Q O L, I mean. Quality, appearance, and gadgets for the community. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Really nice. Improving that UI. Okay. Oh, there's added more options, although I'll stick with the usual. Yeah, it looks the same. We've also revamped the weekly tasks. They probably just added more. Under the errands tab, this update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks. Ah. Fresh weekly. 
Oh, hello. Okay, so this makes it faster. You got one that incentivizes you to play the arcade. We get way more rewards out of these shits, though. What the hell? Like the investigator training course it seems. I think yeah, we I still get the same that. amount. I think we still get the same amount. Yeah, we still get the same amount, but it looks like we get a you little bit. You still get the same amount, but you're getting like a chance for extra awards and other things. Yeah. Combat tutorial stages. Getting more familiar with the mechanics. Oh, they added the tutorial stages. That's another way of getting extra stuff. They most likely a one-time thing in the course. Free training and your cooperation mm -hmm. exercises. Yeah, most likely. Too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Oh, nice. And also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for notorious. Really good. Oh, so they put more they putting more stuff on like one screen so that way you don't have to keep like walking around. Notorious hunt and routine cleanup. Where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives from each Oh, that's, that's cool. really Just fucking that is so good. Oh my god. We've made a number of changes regarding materials, drive disks, W engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. Okay. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats. Dismantle more advanced ones or use Most of the QOL changes is mostly However, like UI changes, which is fine. I know people who have had trouble with the UI in this game. I don't know how, but okay. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead of okay. everything you need okay. on a single pop up window. Oh, you could you could just convert them right there on the dot. That's fire. Yep. That's really good, actually. Really fucking good. But okay. Two years of glitching again. What you say? No, I was saying the TVs were glitching again. I wonder if that's hinting at something. Oh yeah, you talking about the background? Oh yeah. Yeah low level materials into more advanced ones then maybe we should let other items have a go too you bet in version 1.3 oh you can convert those on a dot too feature to drive disc master copies as well yeah so oh that's fire able to craft more advanced like you end up getting a shit ton of red ones too to so you could convert them into the yellow that really is handy yeah. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. It makes grinding better. And I, I already think grinding is really good in this game. By when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too. Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disk dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive disks when dismantling. Making it a breeze to filter discs that you don't need. I love this music. Plus, the old select all has been replaced. Yeah, it's pretty chill. I'm vibing to this. And you can select all drive discs of a specific grade or all those marked as discarded. We've added yeah, you can discard them now. Okay. Drive discs and, w engines. and the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. 100%. In version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and Bangboo. Oh, that's you can pin your agents and Bangboo for the agent menu, remodeling, Wait, what? Bangboo deployment interface, and more. You're able to just favorite the Bangboos. I guess they would shuffle you immediately oh, up top. Oh, favorite them. Favorite the them. Okay. In the drive disk selection screen over at the music store. Now, you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. That is I'm pretty I'm exciting, man. Pretty it's a nice little touch. So yeah, uh, give recommendations for the W engines. Yeah. Let him out. Don't worry, proxies. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Until next time. Bye. Hold up. What's going on here? Whoa, uh-oh. We're going to see the bit bad villain? Ooh. It's the vampire. Oh, yeah, it's the vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> is he gonna be play? If we gotta get a vampire trick that's playable. Uh, uh who knows? First I wouldn't be surprised if we see him turn into a corrupted. All right. First of all, this is the thumbnail right here. Gotcha. All right. I wonder if it's actually hinting at, because then maybe 1.4 might actually be more so on the vampire side with Lycan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're going to hint more with, with Lycan. We probably might get more of uh, people that might be involved with the Vittoria people. Or we could have some people that's in their own faction that's probably like, that's in the deep forest part. Yeah. You like? I can see right. that. So, K Ron, bro, what do you think of this live stream, bro? What you think of this shit, man? I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna give it a nine to you, bro. A nine out of ten. It was a really good fucking live stream. It's another banger patch. It's looking like another banger patch that's coming to the game. They made a lot of good optimizations to the UI, which is really good, bro. Because I know people have problems with the UI, bro. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I, I, I'm I, glad that they improved upon that. You could go and find the light drive this. You could kind of convert them now. I don't know. I don't remember if we could do that before. Shit. And I've been grinding the game for like for a, while, for a minute now. Yeah, you can do the even... conversions before. You, you can do that You before, just have right? to go through an app. Yeah, you just have to go oh. through a slightly different menu. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. I completely forgot, bro, because I really do that now because I just focus more on the grinding of this because I, I sometimes usually get what I want. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah. Uh, What else? What else, bro? Yanagi and Lighter, bro. Let's start off. Let's, let's second off with those two, bro. Yanagi is looking fire, bro. Bro, I, I also like her character. She's fire as hell. Like her design, bro. I gotta love her. A bit TD chip with glasses, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Also thick on the yes. bottom shot too. Yeah. And then <laughs> you already know, Gary. And then you got Lighter, my nigga. Lighter, cool as fuck, bro. He's five, bro. I'm a go for. I'm a gun for his ass. I just love Lighter, man. Lighter is the goat, bro. He cool as fuck for no reason, bro. But he also has a goofy ass side to his character, bro, which I like. So he, he so he has more than just trying to. I'm trying to look cool. Oh, I'm so edgy. You know what I'm saying? No one can believe can beat the champion. <laughs> you know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. What, what what about you? What about you, Karen? What what other changes that you like that, that they they made here that they showed? Well, I like how they have uh well the UI. Although it didn't really need much changing to me, I like additional changes and how it makes it quicker to level up and stuff like that and also give you recommendations based on the characters that you didn't already know that needed those that really things good. yeah so that's pretty neat anything else mm. the new events coming are pretty fire Hell yeah. Your, your uh, yeah that's basically it really yeah bro and they have that new permanent game mode that that road light mode I, that mode has a lot of potential, bro, and all of that shit, and that's gonna be heat, bro. I think that's gonna be heat, and I hope that they start putting co-op into the fucking game so me, me and the homie here could start playing the game together, bro. You know what I'm saying? We still hop on, talk about the game quite a lot, but bam, we don't get to ever play with each other aside from doing the, the arcade, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wanna do the combat with the homie, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. I think overall this live stream was a banger. It's probably some things that we're missing. Also, look forward to the story of Lighter's story and Yanagi's story, bro. And it, the animations is the same as always. The in their animations and the Yanagi and the Yanagi art was fucking crazy when they was showing her like her little story cover. That shit was crazy. Yeah. They always go hard on that shit, bro. I mean, you saw that shit. You saw Jane Doe's cover and Bernice's cover, bro. When she's what was when she was with Piper, and stroke of luck, and then and also with Jane Doe's, you know, with Jane Doe's shit, you know, you already know, man. You saw Jane Doe's cover, man, because that that shit was insane, man. The, the cover to Jane Doe's story was crazy, man. We already know. 
but yeah, that's all we got to say, bro. Live streams fire. Another banger live stream, just like 1.2. And yeah, we're going to get... Yeah, it's time for us to end this shit off, man. You guys already know, man. You already know the drill, bro. You already know, bro. If you like the video, like the video, bro. If you also like the video, subscribe, bro. What you doing, bro? You need to subscribe, bro. What you doing? You just sitting there just watching, bro. If you're not subscribed, bro, if you want to see more of us, bro, come on, man. Subscribe, bro. We also do more shit. We do more than just ZZZ. We do other games. We do woo we, we also do these videos, obviously, man. Look at us reacting to it. We also do some Nintendo games. We do Mario. We we do Mario Party, bro, bro. Prepare for the first Mario Party that's going to come out in a couple of days, man. You already know, man. Maybe probably might come out next week. I don't know. I'm not sure of that one, bro. But, yeah, we, we like playing different types of games, bro. We into the variety of that shit, bro. We also going to be into Monster Hunter, bro. You know? Probably might play the demo on the channel, bro. You never know, bro. We do uh, we do these two these different games, bro, and I hope you guys are ready for us to uh, to be there for it, bro. I hope you guys are there for it, man. You know what I'm saying? And once again, link is in the description below. All socials down there, bro. Peace, love, and happiness, bro. And see y'all later. Peace. Yeah.